Hello, everybody out there. Thank you guys for joining me today. Good afternoon for those of us here on the East Coast. Good almost uh, afternoon to those of you that are Central Mountain. And good morning to everybody out there on the West Coast. You guys, thank you so much for joining me yet again here on Wednesdays. Um, I really do appreciate it. I know many of you have been in the chat and I've had the opportunity to say hello to a lot of you. Again, thank you. Uh, we're going to make it official here in just a second. I hope you guys are having a great day so far. It's a little, it's it's dreary, overcast, and gray here in uh, central Pennsylvania. So hopefully, at least you guys are getting the sunshine out there. Fingers crossed. So without further ado, you guys, like I said, I know that I was chatting with a, a number of you before we went live, but I want to make it official as always. The first shout out is going to go to Miss Terza. Lady, thank you so much for being here and being here so early. I really do appreciate it. Miss Ruth the B, Lady, thank you once again. I really do appreciate all of your time and efforts, Lady. I really, truly do. Good afternoon, Miss Becca. How are you doing today? And Shannon, hello. Thank you, ladies, again for joining. Karen G, how are you doing out there, Lady? Um, I do have some, I do, I, y'all, a, 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 a modest and humble pride, but I am really, I'm pretty, pretty, pretty prideful of the things that uh, I'm bringing here to today's sale. I hope that you guys do enjoy. Pape, lady, how are you today? Thank you for joining. Miss Pam, I was just watching, um, not, what is the show called though? Pressure Luck. I was watching Pressure Luck last night. That guy, he cleaned up that winner last night. Miss Desert Gal, hello. Good morning, Les. How are you doing today? Lizzie Lady, thank you for joining in today. Desert Gal's out there. She's multitasking. She's lurking. She's listening. And you know what? I appreciate it. The fact that I would get to be some background noise, your lunch break buddy. I really do appreciate it, you guys. Thank you so much. Miss Karen Lord. Hello, how are you, Denise? Denise Ooch, how are you doing today? Thank you for popping in. Betty Lady, thank you so much. It was a great shopping experience. Yes, the video from today uh, was from Rust and Shine. Don't forget, Cindy J is, uh, of course, her booth at Rust and Shine is featured in the video and down in the description of the video. You are going to find out only her Instagram link, but her Etsy link. That way you can kind of follow along there if you're not local to Pennsylvania and you can still shop or shop there, right? She's a great member to the community. So, hey, Judy, how are you doing today? Miss Amy W. Lady, how are you? Donna, how are you? Donna, you, you snuck in there right when I was going live. Thank you for joining. Hello there, LaDonna. How are you, lady? Nikki Moss. How you doing? You know, on Nikki's box, Nikki can tell you, but I write Nikki and then I write Moss and then I underline it with an exclamation point. <laughs> hey, Vi. Oh, you are in Bangkok. I don't know how to say, I don't know how to say hello, but hello. Thank you for joining us. Really appreciate that. Amazing. Thank you. I hope you're having great weather over there. Jeff, how are you doing today? Hey, Glowy, how are you? LaDonna hasn't killed anyone. Bonus. Just hide the body well, LaDonna. Good morning, Don. Hey, sing a song. How are you? Gene, hello. He's Saturn and Carolyn. How are you? Titi, Becky, Tracy, how are you doing today? Melinda, good afternoon. Miss Suzanne Sharp. Leanne, Joyce, she's in Texas. T for Texas. Elisa, good morning. Christy, how are you? Wendy. Wendy. <laughs> Jean, hello, and Mars, how are you, Carrie, Connie, Jacqueline, my goodness, shenanigans, lady, how are you, Betsy, I'm happy that you found me, too, Miss Mary B, hello, Karen, she's still chasing vintage, imagine that, get it, lady, Miss Nikki Laurent, enchanté, hello, Robin, and Annalise, and Trisha, Tammy, lady, Yes, I did. Y'all just wait. I want to do something special with it because Tammy knows where it's going. It's not mine to keep, but I got it. So you just wait for that, Tammy. Hello, Becky. Hello, hello. Blackberry, how are you doing? Nettie, Julie, how are you doing today? Okay, wait, wait, wait. Is Swadika 
Okay, I'm an American expat here. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So it is Swadika. Swadika. I don't know if I'm saying it right. Probably totally not. Uh, Judy, he hasn't gotten it yet. I'm going to be taking it to there. <laughs> hey, Dina, how are you doing? Well, hello there, mister. How are you doing? Behave. Behave. <laughs> I told him he's got he's got stuff piling up here. So he's got to behave. Alrighty, guys. Again, thank you so much for being here. Let's get into the nuts and the berries of the sale. If you are new uh, here to the Cult of Vintage, thank you so much for checking it out. I hope you have a good time today. Uh, of course, my name is Michael Todd, and we're going to be doing a live sale. It is a lot of glass with a few other things sprinkled in. You guys, if you would like to purchase something from me and you've never purchased from me, or maybe you have in the past and it's been a good while, uh, please... <laughs> <laughs> hey, Susan S., how are you? Um, I, I'm monochromatic today. I'm monochromatic. Um, Lizzie, don't you dare be encouraging that. <laughs> um, hey, Connie. Hey, Melinda. But if you are new here, um, just what you want to do is send me an email with some contact information. Hello to everybody coming in. You just want to send it simply to the Cult of Vintage at Yahoo. It's right down here in the banner. It's, of course, that blue rectangle that you're seeing at the top of the chat. That's the pinned comment. And it's also in the description of the video. You want to send me a few things. That, of course, is going to be your real name, your YouTube username, if it's different than your real name, your full shipping address, and most importantly is your zip code so I can get you the calculated discounted shipping. And the last but not least is the email address that you use for your PayPal. Hey, Cam. Hello, hello, everybody. Um, now, if you don't have... Thank you so much, Don. I appreciate it. Um, if you don't have PayPal, that doesn't mean that you can't purchase. I want you to go ahead and send the same email with the same information. Just indicate that you don't have PayPal. And I'm going to reply to that email with a link. That link is going to allow you to check out as a guest on PayPal so you don't have to sign up for anything. You can use any credit or debit card that you would like. And the added bonus to doing that is you will still receive the PayPal buyer protection. I only accept PayPal. Now, again, if you are a new buyer, please make sure you send me that information as quickly as possible. I will be doing packing and invoicing today. You will receive your invoice today. And uh, I will begin shipping tomorrow. Uh, yesterday's sale, a lot of you um, made your payment. Thank you guys so much. Your stuff's already in the mail from yesterday's sale. It's true. I like to do it like that. Um, so yeah. That said, we do have our official bid ender. If you're new to the sale, then let me let you, let me introduce you to the one, the only Miss Ruthie B. Lady, thank you so much. We do have um stop it, Melinda. Um we <laughs> what was I saying? I don't know. Ruthie is our official bid ender. If you are new here, uh, you're gonna be racing the wildflowers down here. Now look. Ruthie's on the West Coast, so she's got that fast West Coast internet. I'm just saying, okay? Um, so you're going to be racing uh, Ruthie for those bid ends. I am going to be doing offer ups. I am going to be honoring just in cases. If you don't want to use a just in case, you do not have to. You're not obligated to. Just know that I will be honoring those just in cases. I want to let you know with the just in case, I do ask that you've been an active bidder up until that point. That way, everybody just knows who the players are, and I think it's the fairest way to go about it. Keeping in mind, somebody might be brand new, and they have no idea what they're doing, and they're just throwing out the number. So let's just remember that. And of course, somebody might have walked away, or they're just coming into the sale. But most definitely, hold on to that just in case until you hear the countdown, because you'd never want to show your cards too early. All righty. I think that is about it. And um, yeah, I do want to let you guys know, I do have something special to announce today. Um, I think a lot of you are familiar with, and again, if you're new, let me remind you that last year I did do a little drive for Toys for Tots. Um, and I was able to raise a little over a thousand dollars and through donations um, from many of you, I, I want to thank you again for that. I have um, with my sale with the name or Amy, obviously all of those handcrafted items 
all of that, all of those proceeds went one is going 100% to Toys for Tots. Many of you have donated outside of that. And we are currently sitting at $979 in donations. Thank you guys so much. Today, there is going to be a few items that I will also be donating 100% of the sale to the Toys for Tots um, program. I am going to be cutting off donations this Friday. This Friday is going to be the last day to be able to donate for uh, Toys for Tots because next week I am going to be filming the shop with me from all the donations. Now, I will let you know what items are going to be available for the Toys for Tots. If you would like to donate to Toys for Tots, please do not send any money. I want you to just go ahead and send the email to the Cult of Vintage at Yahoo, say, hey, I want to participate in the Toys for Tots. What do I do? And I'm going to send you instructions, okay? Full transparency. If you send me an email saying that you would like to participate in Toys for Tots, I'm going to ask you to send it to the appropriate email. This email is not connected to PayPal, so don't send it here because I won't get it. But I am going to ask you to send a donation via friends and family because if you send it as a goods and services, 4% will be taken out of that. I will then confirm with an email that I have received your donation. If there is anybody out there who has donated and has not received the confirmation email, please send me an email saying I didn't get my confirmation. Okay. I think I'm up to date. I think I am up to date. If you have asked to participate and you have not gotten a response, please reach back out to me. I think I have gotten everybody, but sometimes things slip through the cracks please don't give up. Um, and yeah, I'll, I'll send you the confirmation. I, of course, will film that shopping with me. And of course, people's names will appear without the amount because I know that can make some people uncomfortable. So I'm not going to put the amounts, but I'll put all the names up. And of course, the receipt will be in, in the video just for, again, full transparency. Hey, R.L. Carver. Yeah, welcome to all the newbies. Thank you guys for popping in. Appreciate it. Um, so again, Toys for Tots, we've got, I think I have two listings, but a total of four items that will be available. Uh, there, I know, I love all the newbies. It's it's amazing. Uh, if you are new, no, bur no bluebirds today, Jeff. No, I'm sorry. If you are new, please just down in the chat, let everybody know that you're new. You've got some amazing people here. They're, I definitely know they're gonna, they're gonna welcome you in graciously. Alrighty, so let's do this, shall we? Let's go ahead and start with an item I am very excited about. Okay, so with just in case, got it. With just in case, just in case is that we are doing bidding, right? And currently the high bid is at $15 and I am doing the countdown. A just in case comes in is you put that in, it is your max bid. Please make sure that you put JIC. So if, you, if the high bid is at 15, we're doing the countdown. Your max bid is $50. You get 50, you put 50 just in case. Somebody else bids 25. That means your bid up to 26. Somebody else bids 30. That means you're up to 31. So you're going to be bid up, and I'll do that on your behalf by $1 increments up to your max bid. Okay. It is a great community atmosphere. Hey, newbies, and thank you so much. I appreciate it. Again, I appreciate it. Yeah, but Desert, oh, let me, yeah, let me send me an email because I could sometimes have a hard time remembering people's like appropriate email addresses and then I can't. Let me, I, you're not off the radar. You're actually right here on the list, but send me an email. I don't have any plush or Afghans today. It's all glass. There's some tin and some clay. And let's go ahead and start with the clay, you guys. Let's do this. This is going to be a choice. All righty. You have three choices from which to choose from. This is going to be a Toys for Tots donation. So you are going to get one of the items, but 100% of your bid is going to go to the Toys for Tots. And... All of these items are going to ship for free. The Toys for Tots stuff is going to, again, ship for free. So if you are a winner, you are going to get free shipping on the Toys for Tots items. So let's start it off. We have got a choice. The choice is going to start at $15. You can choose one. You can choose two. 
You can choose, thank you, Lemmy, all three if you'd like. Now, since Mr. Richard is here in the chat, Richard actually has a very talented friend by the name of Molly. And Molly does a lot of mixed media, but she also does some really fun, cute sculptural stuff. And these are them, okay? The ugly snowmen. That's what she calls them. I don't think they're ugly. I think they're absolutely adorable. So you will have high bid, will have choice of one, two, or all three of the ugly snowmen. Now, they're each a little bit different. And I will, a true, a true artisan that Molly is, she actually did sign and date her pieces. All three <laughs> are sign and dated. So your first choice will be, we're calling him, what did I call him? I called him Happy Snowman. And look at the little tinsel, his little tinsel scarf. You guys, thank you so much for your bids. I really do appreciate it. Again, these are all handcrafted. These are a polymer clay. You know, they've got like the little texturing and the dimples to them, a little bit of a patina to them. Look at his sweet little smile. I absolutely, there's never such thing as an ugly snowman. Lizzie, I got you in it at 20. So we've got happy snowman. That is pick number one. Pick number two, we're calling him melt. All right, look, he's got a little melt on him, bless him. Look at those noses on him. So then we've got melt because he's got a little bit of melt. So each one obviously being handmade is going to be a little bit different. And again, you are seeing imperfectly perfect. That is right, Connie, I love that. So again, every piece is signed by Molly, okay? So we've got melt, we've got happy and melt. And last but not least, I'm calling him X. Look at his eyes, look at this. Uh, I don't know. Maybe he had a little too much eggnog. I don't know. So then we've got X. Okay. Again, they are similar, but each one is unique. Again, all three are going to be signed. Look at that face. Now, Ariana actually um, met Molly when we were in Springfield and she bought a whole bunch of her ugly jack-o'-lanterns and had them for her sale. But she does multiples for the holidays, y'all. So we've got X as a choice. We've got sm or happy here as a choice. Okay, water baby, I appreciate you. It is 100% of this is going as a donation too. So, and then of course we've got melt. So high bid will get to choose one, two, or all three. Water baby is in it to win it. And again, this is for toys for tots. You're gonna get one of the snowmen. And of course you're gonna get free shipping with these. Ariana sold a snowman last night. Okay, cool, cool. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and do the countdown. So here we go. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and bid end. You know what, Deborah? That was so much fun, and I really do appreciate it. I don't get just toys. I did get books and crayons and games. Did I, did I don't think I got a lot of games. I'm going to have to make sure I get more games this year. So it's not just toys, though. Of course, it's Christmas, so I love the toys. There is our bid end. Lizzie, your 75 came in right after the bid end. Miss Water Baby Lady, thank you so much for your donation. Which one, or girl, do you want all three? No, it's for choice. Do you want Melt? Do you want happy or do you want X, lady? You let me know. And again, these will ship for free, of course. And then after the 100 is Miss Donna at 23. Donna, you will be back up. Yay, Melty Man is going to Miss Water Baby. You get it, lady. Let me set these guys over here. So now Miss Donna... Thank you so much. I really do appreciate that. Thank you, lady. Um, all right. So, Miss Donna, do you want X or do you want happy? If you want either, you don't have to. Up to you, lady. Boop, boop, boop. I'm writing you down, water baby. Boop, boop, boop. And then after that, oh, hey, Lisa. Lisa is a lover, is a lover of the Molly creation. <laughs> <laughs> she got a few. <laughs> Donna, lady, you want both. You're going to get X and you're going to get happy for 23 each. 
ladies, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. Let me put those back up on screen so you're not. So Ms. Donna, appreciate you. And again, ladies, 100% of your purchase today is going to go to the Toys for Tots and your items are going to be shipping for free. I really, really appreciate y'all. Tis the season, right? Let's do it. 23. All righty. Boom. You know what? I'm having... I'm having such a good time with the Toys for Tots. Let's go ahead and let's do the other item that I've got available for Toys for Tots. Again, keep in mind that 100% of your purchase, you're going to get, of course, the item. Um, oh, thank you, Lisa. I mean, I can be. You know, we all have those moments. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. Keeping it honest here at the Cult of Vintage. Um. So you are, of course, going to get the item, but 100% of your purchase is going to, um, <laughs> thank you, Lori, um, but it depends on who you ask, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, um, but 100% of your purchase is going to go for the Toys for Tots uh, drive, and this next item is also going to ship for free. I love making things. You all know I love to craft. If you were with Misty and I yesterday on Tuesday sale, you might know what's coming your way. I am going to start the next item off at, pardon me, $30. You are going to get all three of my newest creations. Got a little hot glue web on there. Bam. Look at that. You are going to get all three of the aluminum foil reflectors. Now, these obviously are, I can't highlight what's going on. You're going to get all three. They are made to coordinate. Okay, you have two of the shorter stems that stand at eight and a half inches and one larger stem here in the center, which stands at 10 and a half inches. And I made that that way when you display them, they kind of, it, it gives you more of a bouquet effect. Okay, let's go ahead and start with the two. Thank you, Miss Desert Gal. You have two of these flowers, right? Two of these silver flowers, similar but not identical. Okay, we've got an all silver with an aluminum reflector. We've got the tin reflector that's nice and patinaed. You've got the plastic silver light reflector, and then you have the green bulb, okay? These are all finished on the back with the tinsel. This is, you guys, thank you for your bids. This is 18 millimeter, air, yeah, 18 gauge floral wire that was then wrapped in washi tape, okay? So you're gonna get that one. You're also going to get, again, one of the smaller ones. Thanks for the bids. RL, you're at 45. I appreciate you. Now, this one has obviously got a blue reflector with a silver aluminum reflector with, again, one of the tin reflectors. There is a blue plastic reflector in there and a green bulb. This one, again, is on that floral wire. And last but not least is our tall stem at 10 and a half. Bam. Now I reversed it. I reversed this one, you see. So now our blue is out front. We're backed by our silver aluminum, then by our blue aluminum, our tin, our plastic, and our bulb. And again, this one has got, it's not reading, but it's like a white glitter. Uh, these are washi tape. And I really wanted to, again, they're all finished with the tinsel on the back. I just really, I love these. I think that you could keep these out in your winter decor. Like they don't have to just be Christmas. You know what I mean? They don't have to just be Christmas. With your white milk glass, your blue glass, your clear glass, if you do do like a winter uh, decor theme, I think these are going to go beautifully in there. But again, I think you could most certainly put them out for your Christmas display. I wanted to make something that you could use year round, just kind of depending on. All right, guys, again, 100% of this sale is going to the Toys for Tots, plus they are going to ship for free. Alrighty, RL, R and L Carver is at 55. They do fit in a flower frog. We discovered that yesterday. Even the glass ones with the holes in it. It's magic. I don't know how it works. Perhaps gravity, some kind of sciencey thing that, uh, you know, what else? Um, R L Carver is at R and L Carver is at 55. And let's do the countdown for you. So here we go. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. Seven, six, five, four, whoa, three, two, one, and bid end. Christy's in it at 56. I love these. 
these things are, they were a little more challenging to make than I thought that they were going to be, but still fun and beautiful. Christy's at 50, R, R and L, I got you. Ooh, there is our bid and thank you, Ruthie B. Lady, once again, you guys, please give Ruthie B a, uh, a round of applause and a little bit of appreciation for taking all of the time that she takes to help me out here. I really do appreciate it. All righty, so there is our bid and Christy, you had that high bid at 56. However, R and L Carver, came in with that just in case of 75. So at 57, let me get that written down. R and L Carver, they are yours. Appreciate you. And of course, 100% of that sale is going to the Toys for Tots. Plus, lady, you are getting free shipping on these. Thank you so very much. I appreciate you. Let me set those over here to the side. We do have some more, ah, we have some more flowers coming up. The aluminum flowers coming up. Thank you, Sarah. We have some more flowers coming up in today's sale. Um, plus, I will have a few more that are coming up next week. I just was like, oh, I'm, I need to take a step back from the aluminum flowers. All right, let's move it on in. If you guys aren't familiar, if you didn't see the community pass, post. If you're not following me on Instagram, you might have missed the previews for today's sale. It is glass heavy, you guys. The names Fenton, Morano, Ellie Smith, Viking. Oh, they are all represented here today. We're going to bust it out. Now, the first piece that I'd like to start with is speaking about the video where you also graciously welcomed my mother into the community, making her YouTube debut. She's probably out there blushing right now, as a matter of fact. We found a beautiful piece of art glass that I didn't even put a price on. <laughs> Oopsie. Okay, that has been remedied. We're going to start it off at $50, okay? It is a stunning, this is a white cased glass. So we're starting her off at 50. Our measurement is at 20 inches tall, 20 inches tall. There is no identifiable mark on it. Oh, darn it. I showed you the peekaboo. This is stunning because when I saw it, it was displayed with just the white forward. However, when you rotate it, you get that black um, stripe going through it. It's got some good weight on it. The clarity in the glass, there are no air bubbles. There are no chips. There's no inclusions on this piece. I think it displays beautifully. If you have like a more modern de home, de home, if you have a more modern home decor, or perhaps you love an art deco. I think that this reads well for the art deco. Thank you, Kim. I appreciate you, lady. I think it reads art deco but if you do turn that around i think this white is absolutely stunning it's highly versatile it's a more traditional look even though you have a very mid-century feel to it with that swung vase when i say it's a good thick piece of glass there's great dimension to it as i said it is cased glass so it's not inexpensive it's not cheap glass you really can tell um, by the smoothness of the glass, the clarity, again, of the glass, and the fact that there are zero inclusions on this piece. Again, our height is at 17 and 1 fourth inches. So if you love that pure white displayed as such, if you want a little extra something, something, you can turn it around and use it for black. This would be great for your Halloween decor. But if you do all white, great for your winter decor. So it is a nice versatile piece. It's classic. It's not going to go out of style. White and black go with just about anything. Alrighty, we got Kim's in it at 50. Audrey, Aubrey, I see you also at 50. Ladies, thank you so much. She is a big girl. But not too like wide. So that's why I love these thinner vases is because the height and the width is where it gets you. But if you just have the height but not the width, it really makes shipping so much more inexpensive. Chasing that vintage lady, get it. Oh, Audrey's at 80. Thank you, ladies. And I'm going to do your countdown. Here we go. So 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 8, 10, what? 
seven, six, five, I don't know, four, three, two, one, and bid end. Uh, <laughs> numbers, the numbers game. But I'm curious for you, for ladies that you're bidding, do you, are you loving the black and the white? Are you loving the white more? Are you loving the fact that it's versatile? You know, Karen girl, you're at, did I miss a bit? Oh, oh wait. I don't think I did. Karen girl, you're at 85. Let me double check. Audrey's at 80. So Karen, I'm not going to let you outbid yourself, lady, though I do appreciate it. Ruth the B, thank you, lady, for that bid. And Karen, you had your bid of 100, but you were high bid at 85. So Karen, lady, at 85, you're getting the white and black art glass swung vase. Thank you, lady. All right, but you got to share with us. How is she displaying it? Are you displaying it white and black? Or are you displaying it just white? Inquiring minds want to know. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. Okay, Miss Karen Chasen. The Missy's glasses do. <laughs> do look like that, don't they? <laughs> Yesterday's glasses, they sure do. Oh, you're doing the black and white. Get it, Karen. Thank you, lady. All right. Let's see what you guys think of this. Hold on. Sorry, if I don't mute me coughing or clearing my throat, that's just not a cute sound. You know what I'm saying? You all know what I'm saying. Um, I'm not going to tell you where this came from, but I didn't select this. I didn't select this piece. So I, I think that you guys are going to have an appreciation for it. Um, it's got a beautiful patina to it. It's an unusual piece, great art deco, beautiful coloring, perfect. Hola, Jamie, como esta? Eye contact, eye contact. Um, it's got a beautiful aesthetic to it. Loving that shape on it. Yes, there is some rust and some patina to it, but gosh darn it, I think that is what makes it so special. We're gonna start it off at $15. If, of course, anybody is interested, Okay, KBE, got it, lady. Good. I'm so ha I know, girl, you were sweating bullets. You was like, no, we ain't going to be doing this. <laughs> it is so cool, right? Yes. So we've got the Edgeworth Extra High Grade Ready Rubbed Smoking Tobacco. This is out of Virginia. Now, it does have a hinged lid on it. It does come off again. There is some rust and patina. Are you going to put your smoking tobacco in here? I mean... Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. To each their own. But look at the displayability on this. Again, I love those, that Art Deco vibe to it. Look at the pattern on there. How beautiful would this be for your winter displays? Again, with that white. Let me pull this up, Miss Karen. I mean, I'm saying non-traditional. It is a beautiful color palette. These go great in the bathroom. Um, Maybe you do have some non-essentials that could kind of be tucked away on the interior of this. I love the finial on the top. I think it makes a great collection. Boop. The measurement, of course, like a stinker. I didn't do a measurement on this one. Let me give that to you. I'm not going to include the finial on the piece. We're at five. Eh, well, at, we're at six. Like if I measure up to here without the finial, we are at six inches. So again, it is Edgeworth Extra High Grade Ready Rub Smoking Tobacco out of Richmond, Virginia. I think it makes a great display piece. I might have some other pieces coming up in other sizes. So if you're liking this one, you're going to have the opportunity to get three more, maybe all four. Alrighty, guys. Well, I don't see any interest in it, and that's okay. We're going to go ahead and we're going to move on. And again, if anybody is interested after we've moved on, just put um, just put tobacco 15. And that way we can turn it into a quick, quick claim. That's right, Becca. Cotton balls, face blenders, et cetera. Oh, with silver. That would be beautiful. You could turn it into a non-traditional um, Christmas item. So again, if anybody's interested, we'll turn it into a quick claim and it'll be 15. Just put in tobacco 15, okay? All righty. 
Let's see. Well, Lisa, I'm glad you're here too, lady. Thank you so much for popping in. Um, ooh, not shift, start. Let's put in a new start bid. Let's go ahead and do, let's start this piece off. We're gonna start our next piece off at $20. She is small, she is mighty, she is Fenton. She is in the blue opalescent with a little bit of hobnail detailing on here. Now I have had this piece in the past. That one fluoresced, this one does not. So we know that it's from the 1950s. However, we know that it is not 1951 because the blue opalescence from 1951, the turquoise, the aqua here, um, those those do glow. So it's probably, it's either 1950, 52 through 1960. That is when this piece would have been created. There are no chips, a tobacco. No, you're okay. Hi, yo, so, you, you so boho lady. All right, I'm gonna catch up with you guys here in just a second. You got it, yo, so, yo, so, bo, yo, so boho. That's the only time I'm gonna say boho, okay? That's the only time, just for you, lady. <laughs> Let me get your use so bo ho. Thank you. You you got the tobacco for 15. I know I love that color too. So Mima is at 22, Kim at 25, Steel 27. See you, Susan Kim's back at 28. Now, okay, I'm gonna default to Kim's 30 since she was the first one, but RL is at 40. I am caught up. All right. So Fenton Blue Opalescent, there are no chips, there's no cracks to the piece. And our measurement on our little bud vase here is eight and one fourth inches. And I mean, RL Carver, I'm just saying. I'm just saying, just saying, right? Maybe that's your plan, I don't know. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so again, Fenton, uh, the turquoise aqua, uh, blue opalescent with some hobnail detailing on it. It's a great icy winter color um, and a beautiful accent to your more traditional uh, Christmas decor. But again, beautiful for the 4th of July and for Easter. So if you have like some mints or jadeite and a little bit of yellow in there, think about that, you guys, for your spring and Easter decors. All right, measurement on it again is at seven and three fourth inches, RL. R and L Carver is holding it at 40. You guys, let's go ahead and start the countdown for you. So here we go. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and bid end. Uh, Lisa, you know, I've heard, I heard, you know, and that's the unfortunate thing. I think for a lot of you, maybe if you are in the suburbs or if you're in major metropolitan areas, the antiquing and the venting and shopping for you guys is rough because you have such, it's such like a seller's market because there are so many buyers, especially for particular things. And the vendors know that, and then they just raise those prices. So it can be so much more, more difficult. Ruth the B, thank you for the bid and R and L Carver lady, you're getting it for forty dollars because you did get a Toys for Tots item. This also is going to ship to you for free. That's right, I said it. Let me get you written down. Um, thank you once again. Okay, I'm writing your name in. Where the okay? Well, we'll just go ahead and inverse that. <laughs> I don't know. Um, um, let's see here. Okay, let's throw in an interesting color. Anybody out there like a pink? Maybe you like a pink and maybe you like a mint. Speaking of those spring colors, right? This is a beautiful piece. This is a beautiful piece. Where are we at now? We are going to start her off at $40. She is beautiful. She is unusual. The glass treatment is definitely unusual. Again, we'll start it off at 40. Now we do have the, and I'm gonna butcher this name. It is the Antichigila Mirano, made in Italy. It is an art glass vase, pitcher, pardon me. Look at this beautiful baby pink 
with, I love this mint green. I love this color combination. And again, you add in kind of like those turquoises to it, maybe a little bit of yellow. It is the perfect spring and Easter vibe, a little bit more sophisticated maybe um, than the kind of kitschy stuff. Kim, I got you in at 40. I do want to let you know that somebody did at some point attach green felt feet. So if you do want to put it on a wood or glass service, you do have that. Or if you want to rip those off, that's going to be totally up to the buyer's discretion. Now we have no chips, no cracks on it. This is a beautiful, look at how smooth and glossy it is on the interior. And it was actually acid etched on the exterior. We do have a lion head crest here on the front. It's a simple piece. It is not overly ornate. I think that the color really is the focus of this piece. It does not have the acid, acid etching on the interior. So this would be food safe. So if you do want to use this for your morning orange juice, live it up, okay? You are not seeing things. There is the original paperwork that is on the interior in both English and Italia, okay? Just a history of the art glass. Becca, you are spot on. Imagine this though as a very elevated and very sophisticated floral vase with some tulips in here. Oh, how beautiful would that be? I just, I can't but not think and see this with having just bouquets of flowers in there, maybe tulips, maybe peonies. Um, hey, let's go ahead and let's get some roses in here. Maybe you've got a beautiful wildflower field next to you. You can go and pick those up and you can just put a beautiful wildflower floral arrangement in here. That's right, Wanda, live it up. Take it, make it elevated. No chips, no cracks. It is a Murano art glass. It is acid etched. It is acid etched, so it does kind of almost have a um, satin feel to it, though it is a little bit more coarse, okay? And it is a purposely done uh, treatment to the glass, but the interior is completely smooth. So again, it would render it food safe on the interior. Our height on this piece is eight and one fourth inches, and that is to the bump of the handle there, okay? Fully applied glass handle, as well as the ribbon, and then again, we do have a lion head crest up here on the front. Let's do the countdown. Ladies, thank you for your bids. Mary Beth is high bid at 45. Here we go. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, yes, 4, 3, 2, 1, and bid end. Yes, Karen, a white and a lavender lilac in here, kind of like that color combination. Oh, and I love the smell of a lilac. Don't you just, I mean, it's just dreamy. Just dreamy. Eight and three fourth inches at the height. Bam, there is that bid end. Thank you so much, Ruthie B. And a congratulations and thank you to Mary Beth. It is coming to you, lady, at $45. I know you're going to love it once you see it in real life. It's a great piece of glass, some nice weight on it too. It ain't going to get knocked over easy. Let me tell you what, Miss Mary Beth, let me get you written down. Gotcha, lady. Thank you. All right. Let's go ahead and let's mix it up. We're going to jump back to some tin here. What do I have this one at? Okay, now this is going to start a little bit higher than the individual piece. I'm going to start all three. There is no choice. You're going to get all three of these pieces together. Um, you saw earlier with the Edgeworth tobacco. This time you're going to get a set of three smaller tins. Okay, they all coordinate. I love this one. It's almost like an Altoid tin. But you're going to get, beg pardon, you're going to get all three of these. These are great for stacking in little vignettes for little pops of color. Again, I love the font on these. Yes, there is some condition issues. There is some rust. There is some pitting. But gosh darn it, I think that, that it gives it great character. And again, you're going to get all three pieces. So again, Edgeworth Extra High Grade. This is sliced pipe tobacco. Chris and I got you in it at 20, lady. You're also going to get the high grade ready rubbed smoking tobacco. So that is piece number two. 
and piece number three is our smallest one. We've got the, um, hello, the Edgeworth Extra High Grade Sliced Pipe Tobacco in the Small Tin. So it's just a cute little vignette ready to happen. Let's do this. So again, there is some rusting, there is some patinaing, but that is what gives it its character, right? A beautiful kind of antique decor. Great with, again, your Easter's non-traditional Christmas. Maybe if you have like a shabby chic, maybe you're leaning a bit more farmhouse. Um, these are going to go great in your decors also. Great with a natural darker wood though too. I would really think that blue are really going to pop for you. All right, Connie and Carolyn, ladies, thank you so much for your bids. Again, this is for all three pieces. Yes, there is some rust. Yes, there is some patina to them, but I like the character, gosh darn it. This one's actually very clean relative to the others. Look at that one. Again, but there is some rusting in the seam, so don't let it fool you. Just so that you know what you're getting. Carolyn got her cigar bar. Oh, Carla, girl. Get it. Let's go ahead and do your countdown. Here we go. Carolyn's got high at 25. So 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and a bid add. Oh, Carolyn, your husband's. Okay, well, you know. As they say, what is yours is mine and what is mine is yours, right? That is what makes a happy marriage. All right, Connie's holding it at patina-ing. I know, I love to make up a word. <laughs> there is our bid. Thank you for sending me the information, Mary Beth. I appreciate that. Um, there is our bid and... So Connie had high bid at 28. However, Miss Carolyn came in with her just in case of 35. Thank you, ladies. Congratulations. And thank you, Carolyn. These, all three of them are coming to you for 29, lady. Appreciate it. And I will get you written down here. Miss Carolyn. Okay, there we go. All right, let's see, what do we wanna do? Let's go ahead and do some more glass since we've got quite a bit of glass. <clears throat> do y'all wanna do the tallest piece of glass? Let's go ahead and do it. Let's go ahead, that is a great Christmas gift. Uh, let's go ahead and do the tallest piece of glass that we've got today. How about that? Let's just, let's just live on the edge, y'all. Viking green, oh, you heard me say it. Yeah, I did. Are y'all ready? The largest piece of glass that we have today is from the manufacturer Viking, Viking Glass. Um, well, hello, Lorraine. You're not late. You made it just on time, okay? Um, so we've got Viking and the green, or as Viking calls it, avocado. Though I don't agree with it because I don't think it looks anything like an avocado, but we're going to go with that. So we've got green, Viking, avocado, and a swung vase. Are y'all ready for it? How about... 25 and 1 8 inches in swung glass glory. You guys, we are going to start the piece off at 100. Stop it. I love this octagonal base to this. This is a pedestal swung base. Let me check it out here to the swing. All right. So we do have more of our knuckles than fingers. Okay. You all know, and if you're not familiar with Viking, they do such a beautiful saturation to their glass. We have no chips. There are no cracks to this piece. It very much reminds me of an emerald, like it's faceted. I mean, this was one of Richard's personal favorites. I didn't know if it was going to make it into the sale. You Like it kept moving. <laughs> kept moving. Um but he's he's sacrificing, right? So again, no chips, no cracks. It is Viking in the avocado green. No, Dawn, this one won't glow. Very little of the Viking glass glows, just given the time period. Uh, anything that Viking would have made would have been, um, oh, the new Martinsville Viking. It was the precursor to the contemporary or to the mid-century Viking glass. A lot of that that glass will glow, but but not this glass. So again, we are at 25 and 1 8 inches in the avocado. I think it's more emeraldy than an avocado, if anything else. 
the beauty of this, thank you, KB, I got you in it at 100. The base of this, so the base and the pedestal to about right here, this is the mold, right? This is the mold. And then what they do is while the glass is still molten, I don't know that they actually swing the vase, but they allow the glass to kind of stretch. So you do feel these ridges, these texturing, and it goes all the way up into the fingers. So you do have that rigid, faceted feel and look to it. Um, it's easier to identify and see in real life. I know it's not really reading the best on camera, but it is in fact there. You guys, thank you for your bids. Really do appreciate it. Again, no chips, no cracks. We do have a little air bubble right here. Uh, sorry, there, do you see it? Yeah. Bloop, 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 right? So we've got more of the knuckles than the fingers, which is not uncommon on these pieces, just given the height of it. And uh, yeah, 25 and 1 8th. Appreciate you guys' bids. Sure do. Let's go ahead and do your countdown. Here we go. So 15, it's like a rocket ship. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, bid end. I'm right-handed. I don't know why I decided to switch it. It's easier for me to show. <laughs> Trying new things, right? At least we tried it. All right. So KBEE, -E, a gotcha lady at 152. Sandra's in at 160. Ladies, thank you so much for those bids. Bam. There's that avocado bid end. Thank you, Ruthie B. Appreciate you, lady. Miss Sandra, congratulations and thank you, lady. You're getting a beautiful piece of that Viking glass at 160. Congratulations. And I'm going to get you written down here. Look at that green. Ooh, green. All right, 160. To Miss Sandra. All righty. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Sure do. Get it. That's right. Congratulations, Sandra. And thank you. Oh, he's congratulating you, but I know what's going on in his head. He said, I should have got it. I should have got it. I should have kept it. I should have kept it. I should have kept it. Kept it. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead. And we've got a lot of glass, so I'm going to stay consistent with the glass. Um, okay. Let's do this one. This is... Uh, uh, I love this shade of blue and it is the Fenton Colonial Blue. And I fortunately have two pieces in the Colonial Blue today. It is just so rich. It is a true, true blue. Um, I think when people, when people say my favorite color is blue, this is more often um, something, the color, the shade of blue that people talk about as their favorite. So let me find it on the list. Fenton Blue. Oh, okay. Nice. We're going to start this guy off at 50. It is an unusual piece. This is not a common piece. Boom. At 50. <gasps> now, I had a similar piece. It was kind of like a coned um, candy dish. It was taller. But, oh, this color. How can you, you, how can you not love this color? This is that great kind of mid-century Christmas with the green and the red. It is stunning. There are no condition issues. We have no chips. There is no cracks. She is fully hobnailed, okay? It is obviously a covered candy dish. Again, no chipping, no flea biting on this one here, okay? She is a blue goddess. Look at that color on the hand here. Some great color reflection that you're going to pick up from this in a natural light. The, yes, it does. It's a very royal blue, Connie. I do agree. Um, where am I at? It is eight. I don't know. We're at eight and one fourth inches. That is from the base to the top of the finial here, okay? Eight and one fourth inches with no condition issues. It is that stunning colonial blue, a very uh, royal or a very traditional blue, full hobnail, no nicks or flea bites to any of the hobnails. I just love, love, love this piece. 
it's a classic blue. She is regal. That is right. It's definitely a conversation piece. It's definitely an eye catcher. And it is because of that color. Okay. No chips, no cracks. Miss Kelly, I got you in it at 50. I almost love this almost like floral detailing to it, right? Kind of reminds me of the edge of a leaf. This is what, whoop, sorry. She loves the hobnail, right? Let me get you up close and personal. I did not see any um, inclusions on it, which of course would include uh, air bubbles. And I'm sorry, but there is no stamp. This does uh, predate 1970. I believe this is actually from um, the 40s or the 50s, if my memory is serving me correct. And I do think that it is on this piece. Alrighty, no chips, no cracks, eight and one fourth inches. So Miss Kelly Hughes got you in at 50, lady. I do appreciate it. And let's do your countdown for you. Here we go. So I know without the lid, it's still a great statement piece. So 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and bid end. Lizzie, I also see you at 55, lady. Appreciate you. Dean is at 56. I know it's the color. This, I am a sucker for this color. It, it, I, it doesn't really matter what it is. I'm like, oh, it's the colonial blue. All right, Miss Norma, I got you in it at 58. Bam. There is our bid end. Thank you again, Miss Ruthie B. Dina, your 60 came in right after the bid end. However, Miss Lizzie had that just in case of, is this from Heart of a Heart? No, this piece did not come from Heart. I probably wouldn't have been able to afford to get it if it would get <laughs> Come on, Lisa girl, come on now. You've been there. <laughs> um, Lizzie came in with her just in case of 75. So Norma, I really do appreciate it. Thank you everyone, of course, for your bids, but uh, congratulations to Lizzie. It's coming to you for 59. I think you got a great deal on that lady. Thank you so much. And I'm going to get you written down. Boom, boom. All righty. Let me set this piece here. Um, all right. Let's mix up. So we have two. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I like to mix up the colors. I don't like to ever get it too. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do another piece of glass. Which one do I want to do? I think I want to do this one here. Okay, we're going to do this piece next. All right, let me get you all in a start. And this one is our... Okay. Oh, Michael, pay attention. Congratulations, Lizzie. We're going to start the next piece off at 90. This is classic mid-century. It is an Ellie Smith smoothie pedestal amberina swung vase. This thing is a flame. It is fire, y'all. Stop it. Again, there are no chips. There are no cracks on this one. And it is referred to as a smoothie because it is, quite frankly, very smooth here at the base. Now, these can be floor vases. This one, obviously is the pedestal. Of course, it being an amberina, this base will fluoresce like nobody's business, as will around the perimeter here. Okay. So again, our manufacturer is Ellie Smith. Tell me that does not look like a flame though. I mean, can't you see it? I love the swing on this. I love the cuts on this one. It's true mid-century, yet I really do I know a lot of us don't think of mid-century as necessarily being graceful, but I really think there's a lot of great graceful movement in this piece. And it's more so the swing and the cuts of it. Now, our measurement at its tallest is at 18 and one half inches. 18 and one half inches in beautiful Ellie Smith Amberina glass, okay? It's a big old wine glass. Right there, you got you the spell. It's a game. Don't let your wine come out the sides. Right, kids? Got to keep it all, all in the mouth. Okay. Isn't she beautiful, though? Again, non-traditional Christmas. If you want to, go ahead and do it. 
Um, well, you know what? No, a mod Christmas. I don't know. It was last week. I did like the mod Christmas with the amberinas, the gold, the green, and uh, the darker green, and that uh, deeper red on it. This actually goes in very well with it. I had like those gold lucite candles with the poinsettias. This will go into like a very mid-century kind of a Christmas decor uh, if you kind of want to play it up. Miss Norma's at 110. Steel, I'm seeing you at 105. Susan, I also see you at 104. Ladies, thank you so much for the bids. But that effect on it, live mod with modern, that is right. Look at that. I just absolutely love the swing and the cut on this one. It's dramatic. But again, I think there's movement giving a little bit of gracefulness to it. Just love it, love it, love it, love it. So Ellie Smith, Amberina, it is a smoothie pedestal vase. Again, our measurement on it is 18 and a half inches tall. And um, Norma's got it at 110. Thank you ladies for the bids. And let's go ahead and start your countdown. Denise, I see you at 109. Miss Norma's got it at 110 then. So here we go, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and bid end. Saskia, I'm probably butchering that. Saskia, Saskia's in it at 115. Norma's got that 155. I did not buy the yellow Fostoria crowns. They were a little pricey. I mean, they weren't pricey for a collector, but again, as a reseller, there wasn't a whole lot of room on them. Bam, thank you, Ruthie B, for that bid. And again, I'm probably really butchering it, and I really apologize. Uh, Saskia, you had the high bid at 115. However, Miss Norma was not playing. So at 116, Miss Norma Jacob, you are getting you some Ellie Smith and Amberina, lady. Let me get you written down here. Uh, cross that off, Miss Norma Jacob. Congratulations, Norma. And thank you. Thank you. All right, let's put this guy over here. You're safely out of reach. Hey, Christy, how are you doing, lady? Thank you so much. I appreciate it. All righty. Um... Showstoppers. We're going to do another piece of glass, gosh darn it. So, okay, we did that one, then we did that one, then we did that one. Let's all just kind of calm down a little bit. We're still going to bring you some Viking swung glass goodness. Yes, we are. Um, however, we're going to know that not everybody has enough room to put in giant swung bases. Maybe you have a small space. Maybe you've got like a big old, um, well, thank you, Corky. Uh, maybe you've already got a big old collection of swung bases and you can barely fit any more in. Uh, maybe you would love to have some swung bases, but you just literally don't have the space to have another collection. That's okay because they did make smaller bud vases into swung bases and we've got one here for you. We're gonna start this little one off at $40. You guys, it is the Viking Blue Neek Swung Bud Vase. Look at the little awkward mouth on that. He's like, Barbara, hey, Garth, how are y'all doing? He's got quite the personality on the mouth up here. It's really interesting. Um, a really interesting one. So I definitely am bringing the glass today, Miss Lon. Wee wee. Um, gorgeous Blue Neek. I will say, uh, you know, Ellie Smith does a beautiful Blue Neek. And I can't believe I'm about to say this, but Ron Ray and Leo Ward, like they're right up there on that blue with it. We do have the six pedestal BT dubs, by the way, down here. Beautiful little bump outs on this one. I love this color. Again, it is great to add a little pop of blue into your Christmas. But of course, the winter months are upon us. So if you do, again, have a display with your whites, your blues, your milk glasses, your clears, it's going to give you that icy effect to it, right? Great, again, for 4th of July is for those summer months. Blue is a great hit of color without being too overwhelming. 
Thank you, David. Appreciate it. Susan is at 44. KBEE is at 45. The measurement on our Viking Blue Neek swung pedestal bud vase is at 12 and 1 fourth inches, 12 and 1 fourth inches. So again, small space, maybe you already have a bunch of swung vases and you need some different kind of heights in there. These smaller ones are perfect for that. Or if you just kind of always wanted a swung vase and didn't have the room, boom. There it is. Christy, good luck today and thank you for stopping in. Dina is in it at 46. We have Viking Blue Neek, a pedestal swung base. And our measurement one last time is at 12 and 1 fourth inches. Susan S., I got you in it at 47. There are no condition issues. Thank you guys for the bids and let's start your countdown. Here we go. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, liquidy, four, three, two, one, and bid end. Get it, Dina, get it, Dina, get it, get it, Dina. Who's it going to be? Oh, there is the bid end. Thank you, Ruthie B. Pew, pew. With that, just in case, Dina, I really do appreciate it, lady. You were holding it at 40E, but Miss KBEE -E came in with that just in case of 57. So KBEE, -E, congratulations and thank you at 49. You are getting you some Viking Blue Neek. All right, let me get you written down here, lady. Bow it in there. All right, what shall we do? Let's go ahead and switch it back up. Um, again, we're going into a craft hoochie majiggers. All righty. We're going to do, and again, you're going to get all three of these. I love this colorway. See, this is going to, this would, do I, well, any old how. Uh, we're going to start the collection of three off at $30, as I have with the others. You guys, we're bringing back the reflector flowers again you're going to get all three there is no choice i've got hot glue spider webs on them my apologies so like i have done you're getting two of the shorter stems here in the front at eight inches and the taller stem this taller stem here in the back is at 12 and a half let's talk about them as with the other one they are all in the 18 gauge floral wire they have all been wrapped in the washi tape to coordinate with the actual flowers. Miss Pam and Whammy, thank you for your bit of 30. Susan, I got you in it at 32. And each of them has been finished with the tinsel on the back, okay? Our first flower here, we've got a gold reflector that is our back right here. We've got our silver reflector that then has the red reflector that then has a yellow plastic acrylic light bulb reflector with a silver bulb, not a silver, but more of like a white bulb in the middle. Okay, and again, that is an eight and a half. Our other eight and a half is a all silver with a hit of yellow. So we've got an aluminum reflector with our tin reflector. Again, great patina. A coordinated yellow plastic or acrylic light bulb reflector and another white bulb. So those are your two shorter stems, okay? They coordinate. I think you could still use these in the summer, these colors, but certainly use them in Christmas, okay? And then our third and final, our piece de resistance. Oh, 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 oh. Look at that one. So we've got a silver reflector in the back with a gold reflector in the front. We've got a red acrylic plastic flower. And then we have a, tw I had to build the hot glue up around this. This one does contain DNA of yours truly because I had to build a base up for that bulb because I was committed to this teardrop bulb going in this. So I'm just saying, hot glue and fingers trying to make that mold and hot, but it's on there, let me tell you what, it ain't going nowhere. So then you're gonna get your third one, okay? And that's your, um, your large stem. So I just like them, they're bright, they're colorful, they're fun. You could do a whole bouquet, you could do just the three, leave them out just for the holidays, pop them out. Uh, year round. I think that these are great summer colors. I really, truly do. They're bright and sparkly. Miss Nikki Moss is in it at 35. Thank you, Denise. I do. There might be fingerprints in that glue. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, 
<laughs> this one's got a super special signature on it. You just can't see it. All right, Kelly is in it at 36. And again, it is for all three of the uh, aluminum slash tin mercury glass flowers. So here we go. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and bid and. <sighs> Pity Pat's picking. Hey, Pity Pat, thank you so much, lady. Oh, we got it. Those just in cases are coming in. Pity Pat, you're holding up. Bam! There is our bid end. Thank you, Miss Ruthie B. It, you all like those bright. I got a third set, and I feel like I saved my personal favorites for the end, so you all just wait and see. All righty. It's math time. Ruthie, again, thank you for that bid end. All right, Miss Pity Pat had high bid at 40. However, um, Kelly had her just in case of 55, but Miss Nikki Moss came in with that just in case of 57. So Nikki, congratulations and thank you, lady. You are getting your sun's sunshine set, say that three times fast, for $56. I really appreciate that. Thank you. All right, and I'll get you written down, Miss Nikki, Nikki Moss. All right, we have one, we'll have one more set of the aluminum flowers coming up for you here my favorites okay let's do it what are we going to do now hey guess what you you know what we're going to do right now we're going to do another piece of glass because we got some glass all right the first color that i see is going to be the color that we do you can choose but wait for all of your colors before you make your decision okay because we have five colors i have five colors left do you want to see colonial blue do you want to see turquoise do you want to see pink do you want to see peacock or do you want to see amberina those are your five choices first one i see is what we're going to go with colonial blue turquoise pink peacock or amberina pink pink oh well everybody wants to go oh y'all know what the pink is don't you y'all know what that okay so we'll do pink then we're going to do peacock then we'll do the amberina how about that that's what we'll do there are so many choices out there so we're going to do pink then we're going to do peacock then we're going to do amberina and then we'll do the turquoise that's the order we'll go in all right let's do it guys i didn't even write the price on this i swear to you i did All right, we're, I'm, I'm going crazy. All right, we're going to start our next piece off at $60. She's large. She's in, whoa, Michael. She's large. She's in charge. Oh, my gosh. She is full on pink ethereal. It is a Fenton. It is a 95th. Uh, there we go. It is a 95th anniversary Fenton. Obviously, there's going to be a stamp on that piece. There are no chips. There are no cracks. This beautiful pink iridescent pedestal candy dish, she's a stunner, okay? This, uh, the effect of the iridescence on this glass, it contrasted with that pink, it's beautiful. I'm telling you, you've got some great flex in there. You do pick up a little bit of gold, though there is some blue and green in that piece. So again, Benton glass, 95th anniversary with this sticker on there. Audrey, thank you. Susan's got you at 62. Ladies, thank you so much. The height on this piece, and that of course is from base to the top of the finial, is 12 and a half inches. Is that correct? Yes. 12 and a half inches. Okay. I, I just, I can't say, enough. and pink really isn't like my personal go to color. But the iridescent effect on this pink just makes this one special. It is like ethereal is the best word I can use to describe it. All right, Chloe's at 65. Audrey, Dina, also Dina's at 70. Ladies, thank you so much. Mary Beth, see you at 75. To Chloe, Dina, Mary Beth, Dina's at 78. Audrey is at 80. Ladies, thank you so much. No chips, no cracks, but just it looks like a bubble right it looks like a pink bubble or it's like it's like the cotton candy that we get to eat when we're in heaven 
that's what this this glass is. I mean, I don't think we get to eat glass, but you know what I'm saying? Judy is seeing shabby chic. I mean, that's the beauty of this. We can look at the same object and see it work in different ways and different decors. Look at that. But yeah, kind of like that French um, countryside and just kind of like a little bit of elegance to it, I think would be great. Mary Beth, I appreciate you being in, lady. Dina is an, at 82. Again, 95th anniversary. It is a Fenton pedestal covered candy dish. There are no chips, no cracks to it. And from the base to the top of the finial, we are at 12 and a half inches, 12 and a half inches at our height. Dina is in it at 82. Ladies, thank you so much for the bids. And let's go ahead and start the countdown. Here we go. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and bid end. It's got a great sparkle to it, though. I just, look at that iridescence on that side there like that. Beautiful. All right, Glowy, I got your just in case, lady. Bam! There is that bid end. I told y'all, Ruthie don't play with those bid ends. Thank you, Ruth the B. All right, so Miss Dina, I do appreciate it. Of course, I appreciate everyone's bids. Dina was holding it at 82. However, Miss Glowy came in with her just in case of 152. So congratulations and thank you, Glowy. It's coming to you, lady, for 83. And I'm gonna get you written down here. Miss Glowy. All righty. Set that over here carefully. <laughs> All right. So y'all said pink, but then the next one I saw was peacock. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to get into the peacock. Yes, we are. All righty. Now I am going to start this one a little. No, 101. No, Audrey had a bid. I just didn't see it. Audrey, I appreciate your bid. Oh, Audrey's bid of 100. Glowy, ladies, thank you so much. Um, okay, so Glowy, lady, I appreciate it even more. You're at 101. <laughs> All righty, Glowy's at 101. Thank you guys for helping me keep track. Again, Glowy, I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for being so honest. Gotcha. Um, sorry, Audrey. Alrighty. So I said, um, yeah, what was I saying? I don't know. Um, so the peacock is going to start a little bit harder or higher because it is a harder color to get, um, especially when we put it in the, um, the Ellie Smith peacock. Okay. So we're going to start her off at 125. Now this is also another smoothie pedestal. This is what is referred to as the dragon tooth. The dragon tooth is a deep cut creating almost like a B, a peace sign to it. Look at that. That is a dragon tooth. That is a deep V on this piece. So we do have two swings, two fingers on it, creating like that peace sign on it. So again, pedestal smoothie from Ellie Smith in that gorgeous, it's, it's like a jewel tone. Um, that peacock to it. So when you think of a peacock feather, you know that color. Um, there are no chips. There are no cracks. Uh, look, there may be an air bubble that I have not been able to identify, but I haven't even seen an air bubble. Okay. Thank you, Miss Parker. Is in it at 125. Audrey, I have er, 130. Audrey, I'm seeing you at 125. It's just not a very common color in any of the glass manufacturers to come across like that peacock. It is such a deep, it's, it's, I'm going to go ahead and say it and I am. So cover your ears, but I think it's a sexy color. I really do. I think it is a luxurious color. It's very rich. It's a very saturated color. I think if you have like darker woods, um, maybe you are a fan of black, you're a fan of deep browns. Putting this color in there as a contrast is really going to bring out even more vibrancy than if you were to display it with white white or blonde woods. Now, Audra girl, you're putting in your just in case of 140, sister friend. <laughs> Jeff is in it at 150. 
Miss Parker's in it at 160. Um, but yeah, it's it is an astounding color to it. I just there's something luxurious about this color. Again, we have an Ellie Smooth uh, Ellie Smith smoothie smooth bottom, right? Ellie Smith smoothie pedestal swung base that has created the dragon tooth in that beautiful jewel tone peacock. Okay. Total height. I've just been running at the mouth. Are you ready for it? At the height, it is this point here, 19 and three fourth inches, 19 and three fourth inches. So it's got some height on it outside of the color. So it's definitely an eye catcher. The beauty is that it's not super wide, right? Not super wide. You guys got to wait for the countdown. You're showing your hands. Okay, I'm going to start the countdown. So 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and bid end. It's okay, Jeff. Miss Parker's playing it, though. At 190. Oh, Miss Parker's throwing it. Oh, she's going to... I don't know. Is it a, there's the bid end. Oh, Jeff. Jeff, it came in right after the bid end, Bob. I do apologize. Ruthie, thank you for that bid end. Miss Parker, congratulations. Thank you, everyone, of course, for your bids. And a congratulations, Miss Parker. You're getting this stunner at 190. I appreciate it. That dragon tooth is it stamp okay let me get you written down there at 190 okay let me get that set here to the side and then what did i see i saw amberina and then we'll go turquoise then we'll do something different and then we'll finish with these. Okay. So where am I at here? Let's do some parsimon. I said amberina, but it's parsimon. So I'm going to, you know, that's my fault. I'm going to start the next piece up. Now, look, today's sale is bougie. Trust me, I was nervous. It's always nerve wracking to be like, I'm bringing all of this like high end glass all at once, but we're going to do it. I'm committed. I know that we can make this happen. Let's do this. Guess what? It's the magic number <laughs> the sale today. Let's go start at $100. I said it. I did. All right. We've got another beautiful piece of Viking in, in um, the, oh my gosh, in the parsimon. Not Amberina, but parsimon. It's Amberina, but Viking calls it parsimon. It's the same color, but Viking's got to be. Here it is. Look at that one. This one is, the mold is the same as the avocado, the green that we did earlier. We do have a swing on it. I want you to check out the mouth on this piece. It's very fiery in its presence. Just like the Ellie Smith, this uh, parsimon, AKA um, Amberina, it will fluoresce around the mouth. It's also going to fluoresce down here along the pedestal and the base. There are no chips. There are no cracks to this piece. It's got that beautiful parsimon or amberina, very flame appearance to it. Now, this piece measures, are we ready for it? 24 and 1 8 inches. 24 and 1 8 inches. Dina, I really appreciate it. Thank you guys for being here. Uh, yes, yeah, so your mouth will glow. And it's kind of like this, this orangish pink glow. I don't know what one would call that, but an orangish green, orangish green, orangish pink glow around the mouth up here, as again on the pet or the stem and the pedestal itself. A little bit of glow right up in here. Like with our avocado green, it is a molded piece of glass. Maybe, Jamie, do you want to find out? Hair girl, go ahead. Try her out. Okay, I'll wipe it off. Let me know, Jamie. Let me know. Um, thank you, Karen. I got you in at 100. 
is it parsimon or persimmon? I don't really know. I guess it just depends on where you where you're at in the country. <laughs> I'm sure Viking had their own spelling for it, but you know, we all pronounce things a little bit differently. Thank you, just a viewer. I do appreciate it. I appreciate it. your second home, the doctor's office. Yay. Alrighty. No chips, no cracks. Again, the uh, height on this, the measurement, we are at 24 and 1 8 inches. Again, the beauty of it is not so girthy. So yes, it's going to be a longer box. Those of you who have gotten my swung vases for me, I think that I've gotten down my swung vase packing at this point. So I feel confident in that, but it's not going to be a wide box, which is what really helps with the shipping. All right, Miss Karen's at 100. 24 and 1 8 inches, no chips, no cracks. We are the Viking Parsimon, the pedestal swung, and let's do it. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, it does match me, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and bid end. KBEE -E is in it at 110. I don't know. I'm just staring off in space for some odd reason. Oh, Norma's also in it at 110. There is Miss Ruthie B. Thank you, lady. Oh, Karen, your 130 came in right after the bid. And ladies, I do appreciate the bids. Miss KBEE -E is the first one at 110. Congratulations and thank you again. You're going to get, now, lady, well, actually, I think I might be able to get both of them and feel comfortable getting both of them into one box. No commitments, no promises on that one. But I think I might be able to make it happen. KBEE, -E, thank you, lady. Do appreciate you. Blah, 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 blah. The huge genie bottle arrived beautifully. Thank you, Pammy. Whammy, appreciate you. That's an unusual one, too, Pammy. It really is. All righty, then let's go ahead. One of my most favorite pieces of the sale. Um, interestingly enough, I love the color treatment on this next piece. We are going to start this one off at 85. It, it, what did I not see? Michael will be invoicing after the sale. That is correct. Thank you for reminding me, Karen G. So 100, what, did I miss a bid? No, Ruthie's just pointing out Karen's comment. Karen, that is correct. I am going to be invoicing after the sale today. I really do appreciate the reminder. So a uh, quick little break before we get into the last three items of the sale um, is if you are a new buyer or a buyer that hasn't been with me in a while, please make sure that you do send me your contact information ASAP as I will be shipping and invoicing this evening. It is simply the cult of vintage at yahoo.com. Um, you're one going to include your real name, your YouTube username, if it's different, your full shipping address, most importantly, is that zip code so that I can get you calculated discounted shipping and the email that you use for PayPal. And if you don't have PayPal, you are still able to purchase, send that same email with the same information, and I will reply with a link. The link will allow you to check out as a guest utilizing the PayPal uh, format. You want them shipped separately, you got it, KB. Um, you will be able to check out as a guest. However, you can use any credit or debit card that you would like. And the added bonus is, is that you're going to get the buyer protection too for that, okay? So KBEE, -E, you're getting them shipped separately, you got it. Is shipping expensive on these vases to Michigan? You know what, if I were to ship, let's say I'm gonna ship the largest one, the green avocado. That one is, what, what What was I at in the measurement? So the box, the vase itself measures 25 and 1 8 inches. The box on that is probably going to be about 28 and a half inches in length. However, you're looking at a 8 inch wide box by 12 inches, right? Because it's going to create a 3 inch, at a minimum, a 3 inch bumper around the entirety of the vase at a minimum um, and some places up to six inches. So something like that with the weight, that's probably gonna be about five pounds to Michigan, those dimensions, bloop, 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 it would be about 35, 30 to 35. 
would be would be the shipping to Michigan. And it probably might be a little less. It might be a little less. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, honestly, the discount really does help, especially when shipping the larger stuff. Yeah, of course, Quirky. Thank you for asking. All righty, let's do it. Last three items, guys. Here we go. We're starting this next piece off at 85. It is a harder to get piece. It's a beautiful color treatment. This one is Fenton. It is stamped Fenton. Look at that stunning turquoise to it. Do you see the coin dot in there? You see it? You see it? Not only is that, it, blah, 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 is it that gorgeous turquoise? It's got the opalescent effect to it. It is a jack in the pulpit. Again, giving a very ethereal effect to it. I absolutely love this piece. There's no chips, no cracks to it. You see the coin dot down here? Look how it is pulled up through the vase to create like a swirl pattern to it. I love the ruffle on this. Again, <laughs> Taylor's like, let me stop talking. She said 85. Um, I absolutely love. This is a bougier piece, yes. So we do have the Fenton. The height on this, and of course that's from the base to the top of our point back here, we are at 11 inches, 11 inches. Okay, so it's reading true on the screen. All right, it was reading a little bit saturated in my, um, in my streaming view. It is a stunning color. This would be beautiful with some jadeite, some other pastels surrounding it with the pink. Yes, that's right. Let's, let's go ahead and do it. I'm, not, I'm just going to pull over the lid so you can kind of get the color effect on it. I love these colors together. It's bright. It's cheerful. It is very feminine um, or traditional feminine kind of colorway. I just, I think that they're absolutely beautiful. Amy, I've got you in it at 87. Dina, you got it at 90, lady. I appreciate you, your bids. No chips, no cracks. It is Fenton. It is stamped Fenton, so it's obviously a more contemporary piece. I believe it was an anniversary piece, if I'm not mistaken. I believe if I'm, again, not, let's say not mistaken one more time, 90th anniversary on this piece. Okay, so Dina's in it at 90. Height, again, is at 11 inches, so it doesn't take up too much space, but the color and the sculpt on it is definitely an attention getter. Look at that spiral in the interior. Beautiful colors, guys. Another shabby chic, 100% Judy. All right, guys, let's go ahead and do the countdown. So here we go. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and bid end. Well, of course, wolves. Shut a chic. I love it, love it, love it, love it. All right, we got Dina in it at 90. There is our bid end. Congratulations. Oh, thank you, Ruthie. My apologies. Thank you, Ruthie, for the bid end. Congratulations and a thank you to Miss Dina Walmack at $90, lady. You're getting a beautiful piece of glass. Let's all just ooh and awe over it. Ooh, you get to meet Lizzie. Awesome, Taylor. All right, Dina, let me get you in here, lady, at 90. All right, we've got two items left to go. And let's go ahead and pull out a big mamma jamma. All right, this one, again, is going to be one of the more expensive ones. So... Yeah, that means it's going to be over 100. We're starting her off at 125. Oh, well, I just put in the dollar amount. It'll eventually pop up. But, oh, at Lizzie. Hey. <laughs> Another Fenton piece. There is no mark on this. It is the Colonial Blue. Y'all know how I feel about this color. It is the Swung Hobnail Pedestal Vase. I love this piece. Look at the dramatic mouth on this one. No chips, no cracks. Again, a very regal blue to it. 
It's got its own glow in the natural light. I love, love, love this piece. It's the color. Again, I am a sucker for this colonial blue. Pre-1970 or, or earlier, no stamp. The height on this piece here is... Oh, we are at exactly 20 inches from base to swing. 20 inches exactly from base to swing. Audrey, I do appreciate your bit of 125, lady. Again, there are no condition issues, no chips, no cracks. Keep in mind that it is molded and it is then swung. So the hobnail, you are going to feel that texturing and it creates almost that optic effect. You see that zigzag? That's because the hobnail is actually present, but it's been pulled or stretched out to create almost an optic effect. And as we get up to, towards the top, it is completely smooth. So there is no hobnailing there present in that. Okay, I just love this color. Can I say it one more time? Sure I can. I just love this color. I do, I do, I do. And our measurement is again exactly at 20 inches. She is a Fenton Colonial Blue. It's icy. Put this in your winter decor. Non-traditional Christmas, 4th of July's. I leave it out year round. I mean, it's a gorgeous piece of mid-century glass. All right, Audrey, I'm seeing you the only one lady in at 125. I'm going to go ahead and start the countdown for you. Here we go. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one and bid end. It can work in so shabby chic, Judy. Do you think shabby chic? Thank you, Connie. I do appreciate KBEE. -E, thank you so much, you guys. I really do appreciate it. Oh, Jeff is sneaking in at 135. Oh, pew pew. Jeff stuck in there right before the bid end. Thank you, Miss Ruthie B. Appreciate you. Audrey, you had it at 125. Jeff got in there right before the bid end at 135. Congratulations, Jeff. It is yours for 135. Let me get you written down here. All righty. Mr. Beasley. Okay, guys. Well, how did that song go? Now it's time to say goodbye to all of our company. Now we have one more item before we do that. How about that? So the last item. Oh, where did my... Okay. No, thank you, Jeff. I appreciate it. Last item. We're starting it off at $30. And again, you guys, you're going to, of course, get all three. And it is one of my creations. Now this is a bright and colorful one. Okay, let me see if I can get them situated here. Going to start them off at $30, just as I have with all of the other bunches. Boom. Look at that. That is bright and that is colorful. Okay, so your two shorter stems, okay, they are identical. And then you have your coordinated larger flower here in the back. All of them, again, are the 18-gauge floral wire that have been wrapped in the washi tape to coordinate with the flowers themselves. Let's talk about it. We're going to get two of the smaller stems. Again, they're at 8 inches. Both of them have a red reflector in the back, an aluminum, blue aluminum reflector in the front with the red acrylic light bulb reflector and a white bulb you're gonna get two of those in the smaller stem. To coordinate with it, I took all red. So there are two red aluminum reflectors. You know what? Mr. Colvin, that is a purple bulb. I thought that was a blue bulb. It's not, it's actually, it is a purple bulb. I thought it was a blue bulb that was turning purple because of the red, you know, blue, red make purple. It's not, it is an actual purple bulb in there, but the, plastic reflector is blue itself okay so two reds a blue plastic and a purple uh, mercury glass garland and again those have all been finished just as the other ones have been with the tinsel on the back they are all made to face 
how I think flowers do rather than straight up. So this is actually bent in here before I wrap it. And then I wrap it and then I set it in a whole bunch of hot glue and then double set it with even more. Yes, that's what I thought. I actually listed it as the fourth. This is the three fourth flower, floral bouquet. Uh, these are, that's, I did. I made it for the 4th of July. Um, I just think it would be perfect. Wait, Kelly. Oh, Amy's at four. Okay, guys. Thank you guys so much for your bids. Again, you're going to get all three of my little creations here. Thank you, Shannon. I appreciate you. Thank you for stopping in. So you're going to get all three, of course, for one monies. And I think these are, you can use them for Christmas, but I definitely think these are great for the 4th of July, right? All right. Miss Amy is in it at 40. You guys, thank you so much for your bids. And let's go ahead and start your countdown. So here we go. 15, 14, 13, 12. 11, whoa, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and bid end. Again, there is your stems. So they are definitely patriotic, that is for sure. You know, red, white, and blue. It's all with a little purple thrown in there. Why not? Bam, there is our bid end. Thank you, Ruthie B. Appreciate you, lady. Amy, I got your just in case of 55. However, you did not need it, lady. You were getting your set for $40. I appreciate you. Let me get you written down. Well, I mean, as I do, do we really have... Um, That's it, you guys. I think that's it. Uh, or do you want to do a bonus item? Yeah, I bet you do. Here's your choice. This is your choice. I have three choices, okay? Bonus item for all of you that have stuck around to the very end. See? See? See how it is? Okay. Kelly, girl, you had that just in case way after the... <laughs> do a bonus. Here's our choices. We can stick with glass. And if you want to do glass, you have your choice of blue stretch or amber swung. Okay. So blue stretch or amber swung, or we could do a vintage plush. Oh, shoot. Kim, are you still here? I do. A bonus item can be a vintage um, plush toy. It's a really hard to get vintage plush toys from 1979. Lizzie's saying blue first three. I'm seeing Amber, who's it going to be? First three, first three, first consistent three. Amber, uh-oh, Amber, plush, uh-oh, dang lag. Uh-oh, uh-oh, blue, uh. Plush, oh my gosh, it's tied. Who's going to be the tiebreaker? Blue, R and L Carver was the tiebreaker. We had two Ambers, two Blues, two Plushes, r &L Carver came in with the tiebreaker of blue. So we're going to go ahead and do blue. Let me put in a slot here for it. These are truly like legit, um, which I'm going to call them bonus items. I don't even write it down. I don't even have a measurement on it. Let me grab it here, you guys, and I'll be right back, okay? All righty. If <laughs> Kirsten says all. <laughs> all righty. Let me do a measurement on it. Now, if you saw this morning's video there again at Rust and Shine, you might have an idea as to what this piece is going to be. It was from this morning's video. Okay. We are at 10 and a half inches of blue stretched glass. Are we ready for it? There's... I didn't even take the price off on it. Well, y'all done saw the video. I don't really, I spent $19 on it. I'm going to start it off at 30 if anybody is interested, but I didn't even put in the start. 
<laughs> so there it is. It is a blue stretched glass. Um, it almost looks like the um, oh the Fenton Celestial Blue, but it is a gray Art Deco sculpt. It is a Northwood uh, glass to it. So absolutely stunning. No chips, no cracks. Ten and a half inches of blue stretched glass goodness. Now, when I had found it, if you did see the video, there is, well, let's see if we can see it on that. Nope, too mirrored. There is a straw mark right here on the interior. You cannot feel it. Well, there's a little bit of a rippling in here. So I do want to make sure that you're aware of it. It's not like, um, it's not damage. It's just part of the process. So again, it is a Northwood in a blue stretched glass. Again, our height is 10 and a half inches. I just, I absolutely love the sculpt and the color, but that stretch glass effect to it, again, that iridescence to it, absolutely beautiful. Susan, you are in it, lady. Thank you so much. Pat's decided she really wants her. She's in it at 45. I am not mad at it. No, I'm not. Like a blue slushy. that's right. All right, guys, bonus item. Now we're going to do our last items countdown. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, yep, 7. Six, five, four, three, two, one, bit end. Bit end. I know, I know, Dina, you can, you can. That's why it makes it so difficult to go out there and try to find. <laughs> Like, I'm gonna, I have bills to pay, y'all. All right, there is our bid ad. Thank you, Ruthie. And a huge congratulations to Ms. Pats. Going to you, lady, at 45. Let me get you written down here. All righty. Now, that is our last item of the sale today, you guys. Our bonus item. Hey, I want to give a huge round of applause. Uh, uh, a big thank you to Miss Ruthie B for being the official bid ender today. You know, you take time out of your day to help me out, and I really do appreciate it. Sincerely, lady, thank you so much. Thank you, LaDonna. I do appreciate it. Um, you guys, I just want to let you know how much I do appreciate you guys taking your time. If I got to be the background noise, if I'm the lunch buddy, if you're here to engage in community and in the chat, of course, I appreciate your purchases. It's a, it's a business. Um, every single way that you guys are able to demonstrate your report, your support, it does add up into my ability to get to sit up here and be on camera, engage with you to go out and find these treasures and to bring them to you guys and get them into the hands of people that are going to love them for years to come and appreciate them. Um, it has been an amazing adventure, and I have each and every single one of you individually to thank for that, and of course, collectively. It is truly an honor and a pleasure to be able to get to do this. Thank you guys so very much. Please never think that there's 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 nothing too small that you can do to to support a small business. And I know some people are like, well, I just watch the videos. That helps. Liking, thumbing up, giving a comment, being here. It all adds up. Um, I really do appreciate it. Uh, you guys, it is a pleasure. Thank you so much. I appreciate you, Jenny. Thank you. Uh, guys, again, if you're a new buyer, buyer that hasn't been with me in a while, called the Vintage, send me that contact information. Um, invoicing is going to go out this evening. Uh, I really, I will, KBEE. -E. He's got a good eye on him. He got... Well, listen, okay, the um, the Fenton, the, all of the swung vases, those were from Richard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Lizzie's after the peacock and poly. Watch out. Um, so, you guys, thank you so much. Thank you for being um, also, that's right, Ruthie. Thank you guys for being so welcoming and gracious. Um, to my family and my loved ones. I really do appreciate that. That means the world to me also. So on their behalf, I want to thank you for all of your kindness and your encouragement. Um, it's been an amazing adventure. And um, yeah, I hope that you guys have a great evening. Thank you guys so much. And um, pew, pew, that's right, Jeff. 
I will see you guys again Tuesday. Back with Misty on Thrift or Junk or Vintage Hunter Live. Remember, that's going to be our weekly Tuesday sale at 1 p.m. Hope that you guys can be there. And of course, I will be back here next week on the Cult of Vintage, Wednesday at 1 p.m. You guys, be safe, have fun, and I will see you all soon. Alrighty, guys. Bye now.